In this video, I will give you tips and tricks how you can improvise a long and strong rope from a natural material which you can find almost everywhere in large quantities. And what I'm talking about is this, a grass rope. Hello YouTube! Welcome to another Swiss Army Knife project video. Actually, such grass fibers are not really strong fibers. If you compare the tearing resistance between a grass blade and stinging nettle fibers, stinging nettle fibers are probably five times stronger. Nevertheless, grass is an interesting material for improvising a rope and in my region it's easy available in large quantities and grass can grow quite tall. And long strands is in my opinion a big advantage for making a rope. As I already said, the tearing resistance of a single grass blade is not really high. To compensate this problem, we have to use a bunch of grass blades for making a stable rope. And this is the reason why a grass rope normally has bigger diameter than a rope made from other natural fibers. If we made a rope from such a bunch of grass blades, we press them together, we make them contact through twisting and weaving. And this technique increased the friction resistance enormous. This high friction resistance is also responsible for a good tearing resistance. And that's the reason why 12 grass blades twisted and waved together to a rope has much more tearing resistance than a bunch of 12 grass blades in this form. Nothing happened. And of course, there are also many different sorts of grasses. Some of them remain short and they are mostly soft and flexible. And some of them can grow very high. And they need a stable stalk that they remain standing. If you make a rope with such long grasses, this has the advantage that you have much less transition areas. These are the areas where one grass comes to the other. But if you have stalks with this diameter, you have to twist it very well that the fibers can break lengthways and that the stalk becomes flexible. Otherwise, just this happens. And this is a weak point. You can improvise a rope from fresh grass or from dried grass. If you use fresh grass, you have to consider that the tearing strand decreases extremely after a few days. The reason for that is when the grass blades dry, so they, they contract, they lose volume and this reduces the friction resistance. And your rope will look like this and become soft. This is not what we want. So if you want to make a durable rope, which is stable for a long time, you have to work with dried grass. Before we start making a rope, I want to give you a harvesting tip. Be careful that you don't cut your hands or your fingers on the grass blades. They are sometimes super sharp. <laughs> so wear gloves if you have. And it's much safer if you cut them very close to the ground with a knife or scissors than pulling them out with the roots. And if you cut them, the grass can grow again. So the rope I want to make right now, I made from fresh grass because I have two less dried grass 
and uh, it has to be four meters long and it's for a project I'm going to show you next Friday. Um, the rope don't have to be super strong but I would say it must be able to carry 50 kilograms. Let's start. Depending on how strong your rope should be at the end, take a thicker or a thinner bundle of grass for starting. Take the half of it and turn it so that the bundle gets a consistent thickness. Now grab the bundle somewhere outside of the center and start to twist it until he starts to create the loop. This loop is the starting point of two strands. These two strands we weave together to a rope. Now we start with the twisting and weaving technique. Always grab the bundle in the front, twist it one or two times clockwise and place it counterclockwise over the bundle next to you. Continue this process until on one of the two bundles are just 20 centimeters left there you have to add a new bundle of grass and continue your work exactly like before. Like this, you can extend your rope as long as you want. Now I'm going to play hard wrestle with my Swiss Army knife and style the rope a little bit. So my friends, after 15 minutes hairdressing, the rope is done. Looks like this. And now I will test 
if it holds 50 kilograms. As you could see, the test was successful. Uh, I like this rope, I like this project. I hope you had fun too. Next Friday I will show you another project where I use this rope. So, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!